Hi and welcome to my class. Today we are going to discuss another method of solving for x. This method is called the k method. The k method you would usually use when you see a repetition of some expression and in trying to solve that you usually would end up with a power of higher than 2. If I have x squared minus x all squared is equal to 8 into x squared minus 8 minus 12. If you try and get rid of this 2 by means of kitty cat or foil method, you would see you're going to end up with x to the power of 4, leaving it as a too high exponential expression for us to solve. So what we do is we start looking at what is the same. and we are going to make that k. So, number one, we find k. Anything that is the same or repeated then we are going to substitute k. Wherever x squared minus x is, I am going to put a k. So I'm left with k squared is equal to 8k minus 12. Once you've done that, you're going to solve like a normal quadratic equation. They can be very different forms. Maybe it's a fraction, maybe it's a trinomial, difference of two squares. But you solve it like you solve a normal quadratic equation x squared minus 8k plus 12 is equal to 0. k minus 6, k minus 2 is equal to 0. k is equal to 6, k is equal to 2. But you have not answered the question. The question says solve for x. So what you have to do is you have to go back. Meaning, you take your k, and you make it equal to your expression that you used in the beginning. So I'm going to take this k which is equal to 6 and I'm going to put it in place of this k. You must have no k at all in the next step. So we would have had x squared minus x is equal to 6. Then you would solve for x using your quadratic equation rules, your previous knowledge on solving for x. In this case, it's a trinomial. So we would now solve for x using our previous knowledge of solving for x, quadratic equations, difference of two squares, fractions. We would have had x minus 3, x plus 2 is equal to 0, x minus 3 is equal to 0, x plus 2 is equal to 0, x is equal to 3, x is equal to minus 2. But there are two values for k. We have another one where k is equal to 2, which means you have to do the same thing again. Wherever k is, I am going to substitute it. So you are repeating the process. So I have here, now I have x squared minus x is equal to 2. x squared minus x e minus 2 is equal to 0. We're now solving for x. You are repeating this. Because you ended up with 2k answers, you have to do it two times. x minus 2, x plus 1 equals to 0. x minus 2 is equal to 0. x plus 1 is equal to 0 x is equal to 2, x is equal to minus 1. Now, look at how many values of x we have. 1, 2, 3, 4. If we had gotten rid of our brackets at this level in the beginning, we would have had x to the power 4. Therefore, we have 4x values as an answer. Thank you for watching.